Hey guys, Dark Fate here. Um, I just wanted to. Well, basically, this video is a 50 subscribers, um, like thanks video. So yeah, um, basically, I just wanted to say thanks to everybody that so subscribed. 50 people, well, actually 51. 51 people is, to me, I think a lot of people. Um, I mean, if 51 care people care enough about what you're saying to actually subscribe to you. And see your videos. Um, I mean, obviously, they're not going to be. Wa a lot of the time, um, your subscribers won't watch every single video you make. They might just subscribe because they like that one video. But um, like that, they cared enough to even take the, in consideration what you're saying. I think that's really cool. And to have 50 people that had that same idea. Um, so I just wanted to say thanks a lot for everything, all the support you guys have given me. Um, giving me critiques on maybe like what I should do, what I shouldn't do, um, advice, saying, oh, maybe you should add clips to the reviews like I've been doing lately, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but yeah, um, I just wanted to say thanks for all the support you guys have given me. I'm going to continue making videos, don't worry, I'm not leaving or anything. Um, so yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, anyway, Let's get on to what else I want to talk about for that, since this is kind of like a 50 subscribers video. Um, there's some upcoming things. First off, about the reviews, how I've started to do reviews with the footage. Um, with, the with the two reviews I've done so far with the footage, Game, uh, Monster Hunter, and Dissidia, they both got flagged. Monster Hunter, I can see why. Monster Hunter, I actually had to use some game trailers videos to show gameplay because I couldn't uh, get the footage actually off the PSP. And um, so that got flagged with the copyright thing, which I don't really understand the whole thing about it. I mean, it didn't, it didn't do anything to the video. It still works fine. Um, it's still live and everything. Uh, I think both of the disputes, I've had a few, uh, both of the disputes aren't, they weren't even, like, they, they were filed, but they never were followed through on, um, and then most recently, the Dissidia, Square Enix actually flagged my video before I was even done processing on YouTube, with copyright things, even though the footage I did use on that was footage I actually captured from my PSP from their game's replay editor, which I also had the videos already uploaded in separate videos as Dissidia replays on my channel, which didn't get flagged, which was kind of stupid to me, I thought. But basically, yeah, that got flagged. Again, it didn't do anything. So I disputed it, and they haven't responded. So, I mean, it's not like it's... It's kind of stupid if you're not going to even follow through on it. But, um... So, yeah, I might have to be a little careful about that. I don't know the whole parameters about how you get suspended... If you have certain things or some shit, I'll have to look into it. But I might... some Not all my reviews are going to be like that, probably. Just throwing it out there, just because I don't want to get suspended or banned or anything like that. Um, even though I could always make another channel. So I'm, I might make one just in case. Just so if there comes a day when I do, you guys will know what that channel is so that you could just go to that. Or you can subscribe once I tell you what it is, so then you won't have to worry about it. But, um, anyway, other stuff. Um, I'm gonna start doing book reviews. I mean, I don't read books like every day, I, um, or like get finished with a book every week or something like that, but when I do read a book, I usually try to finish it up. And I actually got this book from a recommendation from my friend Noble, who I've talked about in some previous uh, videos, not in a while, but I talked about him. A while back, if you've um, been a subscriber to me for a while, and um, basically, I think I got it in like it was before summertime. I don't know exactly when, but he got that got this book, and I was like, oh, he said, oh, it seemed, it's really good. So I decided to pick it up, and in all honesty, I didn't really read much of it. I only read like the first few pages of it. Um, once I got it, and then. I didn't read anything really over the summer until, like, over Labor Day weekend. And this is a really good book. I'm, right now, I've, I only read, 
about 50 pages um, over the course of like a day or so, the like, first 50. So, I mean, I'm not like super far into it, but I'm really liking that. And this book is The Electric Church by Jeff Summers, or Summers, I don't know how they pronounce his last name. Um, and it says in the corner, um, eternal life can be yours for a price. I'll just read the back of it real quick. Avery Hates is a very bad man. Some might call him a criminal. He might even be a killer, for the right price. But right now, Avery Hates is scared. He's up against the monks, cyborgs with human brains, enhanced robotic bodies, and a small arsenal of advanced weaponry. Their mission is to convert anyone and everyone to the electric church. But there's just one snag. Conversion means death. That, that kind of got me hooked, I thought. Um, but basically, that's kind of what it's about. It's a very, it's a kind of a new take. It's kind of like a noir take on science fiction, and it's really, really good. The dialogue is snappy. It's very modern dialogue. Of course, since it's kind of futuristic, so he can do that. It's very, it's very uh, comical. There's a lot of stuff that'll make you laugh, or at least it makes me laugh in this book. So I will probably be doing a review of this. Um, if you guys are thinking about checking it out, it's only. Twelve ninety nine at I bought it at Barnes and Noble. Uh, again, this is the Electric Church by Jeff Summers. Um, just other things, upcoming things. I mean, they're not gonna be coming up like in the next week or anything. But I will be getting and doing a review of Kingdom Hearts three hundred fifty six over two days. I think that's what it's called. I don't, if it isn't, I don't know. It's the DS one. Um, I promise. I know. I, I've been. I've said this probably like twenty times now. I will get to the Master Grade X or uh, Destiny and the Double or not Double the O Gundam and the Exia and the <laughs> High New. I mean, I'm just kind of, and honestly, I've just have, really haven't wanted to do model reviews lately. Um, I am g definitely going to start doing manga reviews. I don't know exactly when. I will eventually. Um, music reviews again. Um, I'll probably be doing. Uh, the, uh, uh, Escape the Fate uh, album reviews for both of their albums. Maybe their EP, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Megan Dia, I don't know, I might do that. Um, all I can really say is I recommend them a lot. Um, hmm. I don't know if there's any other games I'm really looking forward to um, that are coming out soon. Um... I'm thinking about getting the Master Grade, Blue Frame, Second Revise, whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know. It's, um, basically the Blue Frame Master Grade, and, uh, Astray. And, um, so I'm thinking about getting that, and the, Kasha and, uh, and the Kshatriya from Uca Unicorn Gundam. I want to get Unicorn Gundam, Master Grade Unicorn, but, um, it's been sold out at the store I used to like go I like to order from. So yeah. Um I'm gonna start getting some S D kind of kits. So we'll see how those are. I've never I've done some like way back when I was a kid when I used to do models. I don't really remember it at all. So I'm gonna check those out again. And um that's oh I'm gonna see nine from Tim Burton. Um that's all I can really think of right now. Uh, if there's something else, I'll definitely make more videos, so thank